All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym. And the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month, we come out with new exercises for you to practice and complete, and we break it down for you into four different sections. So today we are going to be working in the November warm-ups section. At the top here is a little animated video to give you a little synopsis of what's going on that month in Craig's world. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz to test your knowledge as it relates to the video up above. And then further down are the exercises within this section. So today we are going to practice creating estimates. You will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you did the previous exercise in. If you have not completed that one yet, go ahead and click on the link on the top right corner of the screen. That'll take you to the first exercise, complete that one, and then come back to this one. So our scenario today is that Craig discussed design services with several new customers, and they all scheduled appointments for a design consultation. Craig created an estimate for two hours of design for each in order to hold an appointment time for the consultation. The customers are aware that the invoice will change depending on the design work that they choose. So let's go ahead and get started first with uh, creating an estimate for Golden Law Firm. We are going to start by going back to the dashboard. So you're going to hover over dashboards and then click on get things done. Here I am in the sample company. This is the last page that I left off of from the previous exercise. So we are going to go back to the dashboard over here on the left hand nav bar, hover over dashboards, click on get things done, and you will see us go back to the dashboard here. We're gonna scroll down to the quick actions tile and um, click on see more. Um, as a note here that you can customize the actions that show in the quick actions tile by clicking on the three dots at the top right of that, um, at the top right of that tile there. Um, we will not do anything now with this, but just wanted you to see that you can customize it. So let's go down to that quick actions. If you scroll down, here are those three dots that I was just mentioning. Go ahead and click on the blue see more link so that we can expand it and see um, other information here and other links um, to uh, go to other places. There we go. Um, so we're going to click on estimate because again, we are creating estimates here. So that is in the money in column or uh, section. Click on estimate right there. And an estimate transaction will appear for us. Now we need to create this new customer golden law firm. So in the customer field, go ahead and type golden law firm and then click on the plus add new golden law firm. And that's because again, they are a new customer, so we do not have them in here. So Golden Law Firm is the name of their company. Once you get the plus add new with their name on it, go ahead and click on that and a little pop-up customer card will appear for you. Now, in a real life scenario, Craig would have gotten all of his prospective clients' contact information and add it in here. But for the purposes of the exercise, we're not going to add anything else at the moment. So we're simply just going to click on save. So the green save button down here, click on that. And now they have been created as a customer for us. In the product service field, we're going to select design design. So if you click into it two times, go ahead and, well, it actually ends up being right here at the top. I was gonna say you could actually just type in design, but since it's right here at the top, go ahead and click on that. We're going to change the quantity field to two because remember it's the two hours, so that two represents that. So change that to two. When you hit the tab key over, you will see that two times 75 has now been updated to $150, which is what we want. Now we are going to click on the arrow next to the save and send button. We're going to click on save and new. And that is because we are going to be creating multiple estimates. So let's just keep it on the same screen and make it much easier for us. Click on the little arrow down here and then click on save and new. And you will see the previous estimate was saved and a new one has appeared for us. So now we're going to create the estimate for Serenity Oaks Event Center. 
Um, so to do that, we need to, again, do that same uh, steps that we did for the Golden Law Firm. We need to type in Serenity Oaks Event Center and then add new. So click into here and start typing in Serenity, I did not spell that right, Serenity Oaks Event Center, I believe is the name. Serenity Oaks Event Center. You can also just highlight over this and copy and paste it in there if you would like, if that is easier for you. So now that you've had the uh, name typed in, go ahead and click on the plus add new. Once again, the customer card is going to appear to, for us. And in real life, we would actually put more information in here, but since we don't have it for the purposes of this exercise, we're just going to simply click save. So click on the blue, I'm sorry, not blue, green save button right there. And they are created as a new, um, a new customer here. Once again, in the product service field, we're going to select as design. And then the quantity field is going to be two for those two hours. So click into it two times. You see design is right here at the top. Go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to change that quantity once again to two. Hit the tab key over and you will see that QBO has updated the total there. And then we have one more to do. So we're simply going to click on the save and new button down here on the bottom right corner. Click on that. And that last estimate for the event center has been saved. And now we have a new one that has showed up. It's really nice having that save and new button because it really does speed up the process when you have multiple of the same thing that you need to do. Um, so now we're going to do the last one for Sally's hair salon. Um, in the customer field, let's go ahead again and add her with the Sally's hair salon and then click the plus add new once that once that is typed in. So Sally's hair salon is there. Go ahead and click on the plus add new. The customer card appears once again. If we had all the information or more information, even if it's not all of it, um, we would add it in here in real life. But since we don't have it for this exercise, um, we are simply going to click on the green save button down here on the bottom right corner. Click on that. And now she has been saved as a customer. Let's finish out the rest of the estimate. In the product service field, again, we're going to select design and then put the quantity field as two. So click into it two times. You see this design, click on that one, and then change the quantity to two. Hit the tab key over. It has now been updated by QBO. And then we are going to click on the save and close button since that is the last one that we have done. So click on the little arrow down here and then hit save and close. And now that estimate has been saved as well. And so we are all finished here. So we are going to take a look at the deposit and applying it to um, taking a deposit, excuse me, and applying it to the um, estimates. And that's it. That is how you would create estimates. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just go ahead and click on the link below in the description. Be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the next exercise in the warm up section where we take a deposit and apply it to an estimate. And I will see you in the next video.